to introduce the webinar series that we put together. Uh, Davide Freak and I are very excited to uh, to bring a combined 100 over 100 years of capital projects experience from multiple different industry types to share what we've learned. So as I go through the, uh, the layout of the webinar, please remember that there's a Q&A function. So submit questions and uh, and we will answer those questions at the end here. So we'll be we'll be sharing in each of these webinars our individual experiences. So in the, the first part, we'll focus on feasibility and really back to the, the causes of breakdowns that Freak presented, the making sure that the owner's requirements are set up correctly. And so we'll present how do you do that within, within healthcare, within manufacturing, and within heavy industry within that part one webinar. The second part will be how do you make sure that you control the scope and that you assure that those project requirements are met throughout the design phase of the project. Part three will compare how construction is managed to make sure that we're aligned with the feasibility and design phases and getting the project built within the budget and schedule that the business plan can support so that you don't have a decaying ROI. And finally, the last part is talking about how do you maintain an effective team? How do you put one together and maintain the communication and collaboration throughout all phases of a capital project delivery? So the way this will look in a webinar format, it'll be the same time as this webinar on Thursday, uh, 7 a.m. on the West Coast, 4 p.m. Uh, in South Africa and Hamburg. And um, we will, uh, it's, the design is to be every two weeks. So the first one being on October 11th and the second one being October 25th. Then we'll take three weeks for the third one, November 15th and two weeks later on November 29th. So this is set up to be almost like going to a conference where you have access to people from around the world presenting on different project types, but don't actually need to leave your office. So why should you attend this? You'll discover best practices from capital projects in each of the different industries. So we all have a lot of ideas about how things get done within our own industries. This is to provide ideas from other industries, from people that have been in those industries for an entire career. And then review the lessons learned. So don't go out and, and learn by making mistakes when you can learn from other people's mistakes. So we will share lessons learned and best practices. And so through that, you'll learn practical tools and strategies to improve the value generated through your capital projects. And so hopefully you'll pick up some, some new tips and tricks and new concepts that are implied in other industries that can be directly applied within your industry. And this is also for, for owners, for designers, for EPC companies, for builders, for consultants and vendors. So understanding what makes a capital project successful through the entire life cycle allows each of us to play our part and challenge our partners in different roles to step up and do their part to make the whole thing a seamless collaboration.